A few years ago, Tesla changed the way electric cars were built. It wasn't about design or style, it was about the battery. Tesla introduced the structural battery pack, where the battery itself became part of the car's frame. This made EVs lighter, stronger, and more efficient. Soon, other companies followed. Now, an American company named 24M Technologies claims they've gone a step further. They say their new battery design could power electric cars for 1,000 miles or about 1,600 kilometers on a single charge. But how does it work? And is it really possible? Let's break it down. The birth of the structural battery pack. Tesla's structural battery pack was a game changer. Before it, EVs stored their battery cells inside modules, which were then placed into large battery packs. Much of that structure was heavy casing and support material that didn't store energy. It just held the cells together. Tesla decided to make the battery a structural part of the car. Instead of something that sat inside the frame, the battery itself became part of the car's body. This allowed for fewer materials, greater strength, and more space for energy cells. As a result, Tesla could fit more batteries in the same area, increasing range and improving efficiency. It wasn't long before other automakers followed. Chinese companies like BYD, CATL, and NIO started using similar cell-to-pack or cell-to-body designs. Each company came up with its own term, CTP, CTB, and so on, but they all meant the same thing removing unnecessary parts and using space more efficiently. This innovation made EVs lighter, cheaper, and easier to produce. However, even with this design, a lot of space inside the battery was still taken up by parts that didn't store any energy. And that's exactly what 24M Technologies set out to fix. The problem with current battery packs. Even with structural battery packs, there's still major inefficiency in modern EV batteries. Inside each pack are hundreds or even thousands of individual cells. Each of these cells is wrapped in metal or plastic casings to keep them safe and separate. These casings are necessary to prevent short circuits and overheating, but they don't store any energy. According to 24M Technologies, only 30-60% of the volume of a traditional battery pack actually stores energy. The rest is wasted space filled with structural components and safety materials that don't power the car. That means there's a lot of potential energy left unused. Even though engineers have improved energy density and charging speed, the overall battery structure has remained largely unchanged for years. To truly leap forward, something more radical was needed, a complete redesign of how a battery pack is built from the ground up. That's where 24M comes in. Instead of thinking about batteries as hundreds of small cylinders or pouches inside a box, they've designed something entirely new. Their idea removes the individual cell casings altogether and integrates the energy storing components directly into the battery pack itself. 24M is Electrold to pack revolution. 24M Technologies, based in Massachusetts, has developed a concept they call electrode to pack, or ETOP. It's a completely new way of thinking about energy storage. In simple terms, ETOP removes the middle layers, no separate battery cells, no modules, no heavy casings. Instead, it takes the key components that actually store energy, the anode and cathode, and builds them straight into the pack structure. The electrodes are sealed and arranged directly within the battery housing, becoming part of the system itself. This means there are no wasted materials like metal shells or plastic containers. Every bit of space can now be filled with energy storing material. According to 24M, this design could make up to 80% of the pack's volume active. Compared to only 30-60% in current batteries, a massive leap in efficiency. The result? Potentially double the energy density. That's why 24M believes a 1,000 mile range is achievable using this approach. It's not about new chemistry like solid state or sodium ion batteries, it's about smarter design. The simplicity of ETOP also promises lower production costs, fewer materials, and easier scaling once factories are built for it. On paper, it looks like the next big leap after Tesla's structural battery. Why this matters for America, 24M's idea isn't just about longer range, it's about competition. The company argues that the U.S. must innovate faster to keep up with Chinese battery giants like CATL and BYD. These companies already dominate the global battery supply chain, offering cheaper, high-performance lithium-ion phosphate (LFP) and sodium-ion batteries. For American car makers, this is a serious challenge. Most rely on imported cells or foreign technology. To compete, the U.S. needs breakthroughs that not only match but surpass existing tech. Another major concern is repair and maintenance. 
Traditional battery packs can isolate damaged cells without affecting the whole system. If one cell fails, technicians can replace that module, but in 24M's fully integrated design, there are no separate cells or modules. So, what happens if part of the pack fails? Could one malfunctioning section take down the entire battery? Would mechanics need to replace the whole thing? Those questions remain unanswered, and they're among the most serious challenges for real-world use. Despite these obstacles, the potential benefits longer range, higher density, and lower costs make this technology too promising to ignore. Could this actually work? At first, a 1,000-mile range might sound unrealistic, but technically, it's possible. Remember, 24M isn't changing the chemistry. They're simply using space more efficiently. If they can fit twice as much active material into the same size pack, they can roughly double the range. The company claims this approach could work with existing lithium-ion materials, meaning automakers wouldn't need entirely new raw materials or supply chains a huge advantage. Still, proving this in real cars will take time. Battery technology is notoriously difficult to commercialize. Many companies have promising lab results but fail to scale up. Mass production requires years of testing, safety validation, and real-world trial. 24M has been developing advanced lithium-ion designs since 2010 and is known for practical, step-by-step -step innovation. That gives their claims more credibility than startups promising unrealistic, solid-state miracles. If 24M can demonstrate consistent safety, efficiency, and recyclability, their electrode-to-pack batteries could completely redefine how EVs are built. It might not happen overnight, but this could be the next big step in the electric revolution, just as Tesla's structural battery once was. Innovation in battery design has always driven progress in electric vehicles. Tesla's structural battery pack showed how integration could unlock more power and rain. Now, 24M's electrode-to-pack design aims to push those limits even further eliminating waste, reducing costs, and potentially giving EVs an incredible 1,000-mile range. Challenges remain. Scaling up production, ensuring safety, and creating repairable systems are no small tasks. Still, even if the full 1,000 miles isn't achieved right away, any improvement in energy density would be a major win for the industry. This new direction could reshape how electric cars and even aircraft are built in the future. If 24M's idea works at scale, it won't just extend range. It could redefine what's possible for sustainable transportation worldwide. The next evolution in battery design may have already begun quietly inside a Massachusetts lab.